Just a couple of weeks ago, two fabulous, magnificent news making events happened on the same day. Uh, we had a UN report that uh, human activities in a number of different areas threatened with extinction a million or more species. That's number one. And on uh, number two, um, uh, there's the royal baby. It was born. <laughs> it was lovely baby, I guess. I don't know. Have we seen pictures of it? I assume it's cute. Uh, going by the the gene pool that it's uh, becoming a part of. So those two things happened. Oh, there's and so, yeah, yeah, you can't see much. They're, they're, the family's beautiful. Their kids are great. <laughs> anyway, those two things happened. And so uh, if you're in the news business, you still only have the same number of hours in the day that you do on any other day. So how do you divide your time? Well, Media Matters has looked at some of the broadcast networks and seen on that day how did they divvy up their time, and here is what they found. Uh, ABC devoted seven minutes and fourteen seconds to royal babydom. And zero seconds to the extinction of one million plus species in the next few decades. CBS actually did the best with one minute and 21 seconds on extinction and four times as much on baby. And NBC is like, screw the extinction, let's see some baby with six minutes. Now, in particular, look, that obviously looks really bad. But in the case of ABC News, this is an amazing fact. They spent more time in one week on the royal baby than they did uh, talking about climate change in the last year. <laughs> <laughs> and like, here's the thing, climate change kills babies too. Maybe not royal ones, but cute ones. And so like, maybe if we lump that in, like, okay, there's a million species that are gonna possibly go extinct and also cute babies are at risk, then maybe we could merit a minute or two of coverage. Um, but, and I know we're, we're focusing on one particular thing, and I understand not all news needs to be apocalyptic. People need light things. We're gonna be talking about Arthur later on, um, not the one that works here, the one on TV. Uh, I get that, I get that, I get that. But when a report like this comes out that is the, the culmination of literally hundreds, if not thousands of scientists working over the course of decades, information that's, that, that touches on literally every corner of our planet, and all that we're doing, the effect that it's having, you can't do 30 seconds? You can't do 45 seconds, you can still have the baby. In fact, maybe tomorrow let's do a show where I'm just talking about coal, but we'll have B-roll of the baby playing the whole time. That might be a nice compromise. I feel like get you a news that can do both, I think. Well, there's many layers to this, man. So the, the other thing is, is I'm actually surprised there was only six, seven minutes dedicated to the royal baby on like ABC, mm -hmm. NBC. I was like, wow, I was expecting several hours. Because yeah. it, was, it flooded, yeah. it, I, I'm, I'm a positive one here today. Isn't this a flip, a change? Mm -hmm. um, the crazy part is, is yeah, so we I've got rural baby coverage and I was getting on my Twitter feed. Brett and I talked about it last week. Mm -hmm. I was like, why am I getting uh, Twitter notifications on my timeline or my, uh, my trends about the rural baby when I have no interest at all? It's just, it's fed to you, it's pushed at you. Mm -hmm. But again, the, the level of miseducation about the climate change and things that are happening and regulations as we just talked about put in place to help destroy it, if that gets flooded to us, even people who don't want to see it, like I don't want to see anything about this royal baby, maybe people have this much more of an education on it. Yeah, yeah, and and I really do think that you can you can find a way to combine these two things. Like you could do like, hey, you know, baby's born, uh, people are really into it, totally get that. Um, here are some of the species that will be extinct by the time that baby's thirty. Here are some areas <laughs> of the world that will be irreparably changed by the time this baby is old enough to ever go there. Um, here are some of the conflicts that will be roiling across the globe by the time this baby's in power. It could be you can do those sorts of things. It could be as simple as we're talking about the floods that are happening, the tor these string of tornadoes, um, um, the, the, the increasing melting ice caps constantly happening. Yeah. They talk about those things quickly because they have to talk about the natural disasters that happen in the upcoming hurricane season coming. It's going to be disastrous. Yeah. So as the flooding is happening, mention at the end of that story. Yeah. Because it's connected. Exactly. Exactly. Well, we're going to try to do that in the future. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.